What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a massive box full of WWE action figures. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number 29 of My Damn Halls. On today's episode, we just have one package, but it is this massive box full of loose WWE action figures. My good friend, I want to give a huge shout out to him. His name is Blake Banks. I will pop his Instagram up on the screen right now. Huge, huge fan of the show, and he is just a great guy. One of my good friends on Instagram. Just a down-to-earth dude. Go give him a follow. Go hit him up. He is an absolute beast. He sent over this massive box of figures. He um, he just wanted to donate them to the channel, and I appreciate it so much, bro. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. This is amazing. Cannot wait to open it up, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so you know how we do. Before we get into the box, we got to get the trusty knife. Yeah! So let's get right into this hoe. I'm just going to start right here in the middle. Give it a little splitsies. Got that all good. To be honest with you guys, I don't even know what's in here, to be honest. I know a few figures, but uh, this thing is super duper heavy. I feel like it's like 20 pounds or something is what FedEx said. So again, a huge shout out to Blake. Definitely go give him a follow on Instagram and tell him thank you for this. Um, and we got a lot of packing stuff, and I want to be sure that I don't freaking spill this everywhere. All right, guys, as you can see, there's a huge pile of packing peanuts right here. And I know these things make quite a mess, so I'm going to be careful not to uh, get them everywhere. All right, guys, what I've done is gotten every single packing peanut off the top. There are a few more at the bottom, but I could not get them without, you know, like rubbaging through the figures. And I wanted to be just as surprised as you guys. So what I did was uncovered them with the packing peanuts, and then I threw a t-shirt over them, and I'm just going to reveal them in three, two, one. Yeah! Oh my goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen, look at this massive box full. Alright guys, before we get started, my boy did leave us a note here, and I'm going to read it now. It says, thanks for supplying the parts for the McGregors. Enjoy the figs, Blake Banks. Shout out to the man. Thank you so much, bro. Again, this is amazing. I cannot wait to dig in here and see what all we got. I already see some gems in here that I'm pretty excited about. So what I'm going to do, guys, is just take each thing out one by one and show you guys everything that we got here. I guess we can start off with this little baggie. And I think this right here is just a little baggie full. It's got a money in the bank in it, but I think the parts that uh, you see in there are from like a Rocky Balboa. Oh, I see a TJP head scan in there. Um, they're part of a NECA Bob, uh, Rocky Balboa figure, and I think he used the parts for his McGregor's, if I'm not mistaken, so maybe I can use them in the future for something. Uh, thanks for that, bro. What else we got? I guess we'll start right here. We got this Kofi Kingston. So we got this Kofi Kingston. It is the Ghostbusters attire, if I'm not mistaken, with the lime green and pink. It looks very, very dope. I've never owned this figure before, so that is a beautiful ad. Next is this Elite One Rey Mysterio, if I'm not mistaken, and it does have the feet. Uh, the right foot looks like it got some dog chewing or something, so what I'll do is probably just replace that, but this is a beautiful figure. Love the purple and black. Next up, guys, we have this Battle Pack Luke Gallows. I believe this came with CM Punk. It is missing the right hand, but this is dope AF. Um, I've never owned this figure before either. I've always wanted to, uh, especially before we got an official Luke Gallows, but this is awesome. I can easily find a right hand for it, so that is beautiful. Next up, we have this Jax Bob Orton, it looks like, and this is a very throwback figure. I'm not sure. It may be part of the classic Superstars line. That's very cool. It's got the Jax vest on there, and very old figure. Next is this basic Daniel Bryan, looking very dope. Congratulations to Daniel Bryan for getting cleared. Cannot wait to see what he does in the WWE now. Hopefully, it'll be like full-time, but I'm sort of uh, skeptical of that. Looks like we got an old Christian basic right here looking dope in his purple attire. I know people use this head scan for Will Ospreay. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it. Don't know if he'll be... Uh, all this is going to be great for fodder. So thank you so much, bro. This is amazing. Um, we have this Jax John Cena. This is that deluxe aggression. See how much more massive they are. But these have a lot more articulation than Elite, so that is cool. It is single-jointed on the knees, but there's so much range of motion that it's crazy. Next, we got this Jack Swagger basic, looking phenomenal as well. Really liking this Jack Swagger. I don't know exactly what I'll do with this, but I've never owned... A lot of these figures are older, so I really um, had no idea about the figures, or I never owned them before, so these are really cool. We got another Miz basic right here, and it's missing a hand. Again, no problem on the missing hands. This is still an awesome figure. I love the red and black attire. Let's see. We got an R-Truth basic right here. 
and it's looking dope. His skin tone is so dark on this figure. It's so funny. Um, I love this attire. I love the, uh, the R-Truth going down the leg. It looks very clean, and that is a dope piece to add to the collection. Next, we have a J&J &J security body. Looks like it's missing the feet and the head scan, but that will be perfect for custom guys. I actually have some of these feet in my fodder bin, so I'll just pop those on there and make somebody in a J&J &J security. Maybe I can make the Air Marshal from Monday Night Raw. Um, next, we have this Elite R-Truth, and I was actually looking for this figure because I wanted to use the head scan to make Velveteen Dream, so that is dope. Cannot wait to see if I can make that. Um, it'll definitely need some modding, but that is beautiful. I believe this may be the Elite 2 R-Truth. I could be wrong, though. That's the second R-Truth I've had in my collection. Next, we have another Elite, and it is the... I'm not sure which Elite series. I know it's earlier, though. It's the Elite Mark Henry. Congrats to him on making the Hall of Fame. Got the World's Strongest Man logos on the back looking fresh. Next up, we have a basic Evan Bourne. I've never owned a basic Evan Bourne before, but um, I'm liking the head scan. Got the serious look on there. Love his boots, and the black and red attire looks fresh. Next is this Elite Alberto Del Rio, and I've never owned this figure either. I've actually owned every single Alberto Del Rio besides this one, so now I have, can say that I've owned every single one, so that is very dope. Love the knee pads, like this attire. Very nice. Next, I'm, oh, this is sweet AF. I love this figure so much. I've never actually owned a cane from this time period in elite form, and I'm loving this, bro. This is so dope. Um, I may be mistaken, but it may be the Elite 22 cane. I probably butchered that, but I think, uh, I think that's right. Love the head scan, love the attire, and this is very, very dope. And I can use it for an updated cane, so that's, that's what's up. Next, we have a basic of the Rated R Superstar, and I've actually wanted this basic before for a long time because of the wrist uh, bands on there. I love the red, so that is very awesome as well. Maybe we, I can make like some fix-up edges or something for MDT Live. Next, we have the best in the world. We have the best of pay-per-view build-a-figure cane, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but that is um, CM Punk in his Money in the Bank attire looking dope AF. I love the shaved head head scan, and he did throw in the ringside exclusive CM Punk ECW microphone, so that is absolutely beautiful to add a punk to the collection. Next, we have a throwback figure right here, guys. We have this throwback Elite 9 Zack Ryder, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, got the one. I always love these because it's got one long pant and then short, and he's got the one knee pad. And I love these boots. The silver and black with the uh, ZRs on there look fresh AF. Love that head scan as well. Next up, we have a gigantic figure, guys. It is this massive Jax Great Khali, and it probably worked in scale with Mattel because this dude is massive. Like, that's him standing on the table, so he is definitely massive. Cannot wait to see what kind of funny things I can do with this guy. Next up, we have another basic, and oh my goodness, guys, it is Nikolai Volkov. If I'm not, I think that was his name. I've uh, never actually owned a figure of his, so that is so cool. His arm does look like it got bitten off, or his hand or something, but that is no biggie. I think this is still dope AF. I'm sure I can find a replacement arm. It's just a standard white arm, so that's very nice. Maybe I can convert into an Elite somewhere down the line. Next, we have a Corporate Cane, and I like this figure. Never owned this one before either. I Honestly, I think I've never owned any of these figures before, so this is a freaking sick AF. My name Hall's here today. Got Corporate Cane here, great leg articulation. I wish this was an Elite, but it still works, and I cannot wait to add it to the Cane shelf. Next up, we have a UFC figure, and it looks like it's Anderson Silva. If you watch UFC, you got to know who Anderson Silva is. This is a pretty nice figure for how old it is. It's got butterfly joints on there, um, and it's very dope. Got silver, uh, spider silver on his butt right there, Silva. Looks very nice. Next, we have a Nexus Wade Barrett basic with the uh, armband on there, painted on. Looks very nice as well. I actually have the Elite version of this, so it's very cool to see the basic version. Next, we have an Elite John Cena, and it is the Elite 11 in the purple attire. Looking very dope. Love the smiling head scan. Need some paint touch-up on the back, but that is no big deal. Cannot wait to uh, add this John Cena to the massive box I already have. Next, we have a basic Kofi Kingston looking dope AF. Love the yellow attire, yellow and blue. His head's a little loose there, but again, no biggie. He'll probably be stuck in the crowd or go in the fodder box anyways. But I wish we had an elite of uh, a lot of superstars in yellow. I feel like we don't have enough. We only have a few guys like that. Next, we have the entrance greats. 
Shawn Michaels looking beautiful in his WrestleMania 12 attire with the entrance gear on. I cannot wait to add this to my Elite. I think that will be beautiful. Got the knee pads on there as well. So this will be very dope to see um, when I put it all on the Elite figure. Next is very crazy. This is amazing that I actually got this figure because I was wanting to use this head scan. I actually talked about this head scan in yesterday's video. It is the Elite 19 Daniel Bryan, and I want to use this head scan for a Kenny Omega, so that's probably what I'll do. I got a DDP hairpiece yesterday, so I'm just waiting on my white Seth Rollins, and I'm going to make a white fantasy attire Kenny Omega. So that is freaking sweet, dude. Thank you so much. Beautiful Elite Daniel Bryan. Next up, we have this uh, basic Sheamus, and this is an old AF Sheamus. Look at that head scan. That is just rough. This was like early stage Mattel. But it does have the great open knee holes back there. So I can definitely find use for it somewhere in my collection. So that's a dope Sheamus. Right here we have another J&J &J security body. But it is the blue tie instead. And it's not missing feet. So that will help me out there. Cannot wait to uh, pop ahead on that one. Next we have an elite dead man right here. We got Undertaker looking fresh AF. Love that head scan. I've always wanted to white out the eyes. And give him you know like his, uh, his rolling eyes face. To see what that would look like. Is missing a hand. I have a ton of Undertaker hands and wristbands, so that won't be a problem. I think this is the Elite 8, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a very nice figure to add to my Takers. Next is an old AF figure as well. It is the Jax Godfather figure with his cane. And um, I want everybody that collects Mattel to take a good long look at this. They always did great on their head scans, but the figures just weren't the best. Everybody was the same scale. So if you collected back in the day, you know the pains. But this is what we had to deal with instead of the nice Mattel figures we have today. Next up, I did find John Cena's Elite 11 hat, so that's beautiful. Next up, and whoa, man, we have a freaking rare figure right here, guys. We have the Elite 5 Chavo Guerrero missing his hands, but this figure, the freaking paint apps on this are beautiful. So this figure is amazing, bro. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to add hands to that one. My God, Elite 5 Chavo. Did not expect that one to be found. We have a R3 Tech Chris Jericho. I love this head scan. I'm going to pop it on one of my Jerichos I get from Showstopper. Paint it up, repaint it, you know. This figure, like, this company did amazing. The figures suck, but the head skins were always so detailed, so that's amazing. Next, we have a Titan. No, this is Ezekiel Jackson, actually. Ezekiel Jackson basic with a core t-shirt. I've never owned an Ezekiel Jackson figure, so this is very dope to have. Open red knee pads, core shirt. Never had a core shirt either. Looks like we have a Batista here, and he is missing his arm. I actually have a spare arm in my uh, fodder bin for this Batista, so that is no worries. I wonder if the arm is actually in this box. Um, well, before we get to that, I guess we have Hornswoggle right here. Never owned this Hornswoggle either. It's amazing that, like, he sent me this box, and I've literally never owned any of these figures. So that is beautiful, bro. Thank you again so very much. This is absolutely amazing. One of my favorite hauls by far on my damn hauls. Um, we have a basic Stone Cold Steve Austin right here looking very nice. I always hated the basic Stone Colds because they always give them the tall boots and that's not accurate but uh, very dope Stone Cold nonetheless. Next it looks like we have a green attire basic Chris Jericho. I like this attire. I wish it was an elite but it is still very dope. Love Chris Jericho. One of my favorites of all time. Looks like we have a basic John Cena. Love the serious head scan. Love the shoes on this one. And I'll probably use the arms for John Cena later down the road and the head scan. So this is very nice. I only have a few basic John Cenas. So um, I have a ton of elites, but only a few basics. And oh man, I found a gem right here, guys. It is the Elite 20, I believe, CM Punk with the blue, red, and white. Very dope. He even included the WWE Championship, a microphone, and I love that freaking head scan. That head scan is absolutely beautiful, so I cannot wait to add this to the CM Punk collection. Very dope figure right there. Looks like we have another gym back here, guys. We have an older Rock Elite. Do not know what series it is, but he has the jogging pants on there. Very nice Dwayne Johnson looking fresh AF with his full tat. We have the Elite One MVP. Very nice figure. I love the black and blue. I've never owned this figure either, but I love all the graphics. Got MVP on the back. Looking very, very nice. This is so dope, bro. Thank you so much. Did not expect to get Elite One MVP. Um, I think we're nearing the end here. We got a basic JTG. I have the Elite version, so it's very cool to add the basic. Um, and it looks like we have a mock figure in here, actually, but I cannot... I don't want to miss out on anything, so I don't know... Let me look in here. Okay, so I did find that Batista arm. Here's the Batista arm, I think. Yeah, that's the Batista arm. And then 
We have a mock figure in here, or figures, I should say. We have the Battle Pack with Shane, Shane, Stephanie McMahon and Triple H looking very nice. I guess he just had this laying around or something, but that's very dope. We'll open this up to add to our uh, little haul right here, and I think that's it for everything in the box. Okay, so I, I just found this random hat. I don't know what hat. Maybe this is Godfather's hat, I'm sure. But that is so dope, bro. I'm going to stand everything up so we can take a look at this entire haul. 15 elites, 25 basics, and 6 jacks figures. 46 total figures on this episode of My Damn Halls. Huge, huge, huge shout out to Blake Banks. Thank you so much, bro, from the bottom of my heart. Everyone over here at My Damn Toys, thanks you so very much. This is absolutely incredible. Probably the biggest haul on My Damn Halls history out of the 29 total episodes. This is an incredible haul, bro. It means so much to me that you would want to send these to me to unbox and show off to everybody. Thank you so much, man. This is incredible. Again, thank you so very much. Thank you guys for watching this video. This was an incredible haul. I cannot get over all the great figures we unboxed here today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.